uh, in today's video, we're going to uh, demonstrate the use of a refrigerant uh, leak detector, electronic leak detector. This one's by Master Cool. Uh, some of the newest ones are good for uh, not only the R12s and R134As, but the new uh, 1234 YF refrigerant. It'll tell you usually on a label on the back here or in the instructions that come with the, uh, the tool. To use this, we simply, first of all, make sure you have good batteries, but we'll turn it on and it will go through a systems check or a process check. All the lights or LEDs will come on and then it'll count down and get to a single one which tells us we are ready, which is the bottom. When we use this, we want to make sure that we have pressure in the system, some type of pressure. Uh, we already have done a visual check on it, looking for oil stains, you know, wet spots within the uh, AC system that could indicate a leak. That's where we're going to target some of our checks. Obviously, the engine and fan can't be running or shouldn't be running because that can blow refrigerant uh, away from the source of a leak. So it has just beeped, and we are uh, ready to use it. You know, we're going to make sure that we're on low resolution. For R134A, they recommend that. That's a little bit easier to detect. If we were doing a 1234YF, we would have it switched to the high resolution or high range and because those are harder to detect. Uh, you can change that just by pressing the button. Down here, we have a low, medium, and high. We're going to start on low, and we're going to trace the circuit. So over here, we have our receiver dryer, and we have some switches and ports and an expansion valve. I'm going to target that area, taking the tip close to but not touching the hoses and fittings. I'm going to get about within three eighths of an inch. Slowly trace the circuit and listening for a change in the beeping or tone to indicate that we have a leak. Move too fast and you may miss something as far as a leak, or it may set off a, uh, a false. Uh, leak. Go up here to where the port is. Wow, we got a little bit of a leak right there. Maybe there's residue. Or maybe I just moved it too fast. But we'll come slowly back to that spot and see if anything comes back up. The noise you heard there, that's typical when there is a leak. I'll go over to the high pressure port. And remember, there's Schrader's in here, so. Uh, there's definitely evidence of refrigerant in there. Cap that one back up. Remember, cap, your cap is a secondary seal to the Schraders. Go over to the low pressure port. See the lights even go up. They got a, a visual and an audio uh, signal. Picking up a little bit of residue of the refrigerant. Now we'll put the cap on and see what we get. That one I moved too fast. The uh, the WT, which is like a wind noise, uh, that help, uh, sometimes can go off if you move too fast. I will check around the cap. See if we get any detection of a leak with the cap on, and I do not. So that secondary seal with the cap is doing its job. It's not letting any uh, refrigerant pass. Okay. You would trace the entire circuit. And in the same manner that I did here, staying within about 3 eighths of an inch. And when it comes to things like uh, evaporators and whatnot. It's tough to, to get to it and get that close to it, but there are ways to uh, to get your electronic leak detector close. The ports in the, or the uh, ducting in the dash, you can go in through there and uh, if it had just been on and the, and the uh, blower motor had pushed air through there, it may have residue of refrigerant. The drain tube coming in from the bottom end, there could be uh, residue from refrigerant that was uh, an oil that had leaked in there. If you have an evaporator, it's going bad. 
uh, blower motor, sometimes three or four screws, you can take it out. Resistor blocks on some of the older ones, you can uh, take that out and go in through the opening, get you really close to your evaporator core. That's how we can test things in the dash or check for leaks within the dash without tearing the entire uh, uh, dash apart to get to the evaporator.